Hey, fans. I'm Derek and I'll update you on everything happening in Chicago. The Chicago Bears are entering training camp with a well-rounded roster, yet there remains a pressing need for a dynamic pass rusher. According to ESPN insider Jeremy Fowler, the Bears are actively exploring options to bolster their edge rush. But what will be the fate of the Bears? Let's check out how to reinforce as much as possible for the 2024 season. First, pay attention. I'd like to ask you a small favor. If you like what we do, could you take a moment to click on the like button? It's a great way to support us at no cost to you. Thanks a million. Fowler emphasized that the Bears love their current defensive linemen Montez Sweat and Demarcus Walker. Sweat and Walker have shown promise and are expected to be key contributors this season. However, the Bears' pursuit of an additional pass rusher is driven by a need for depth and versatility in their defensive strategy. As Fowler noted, the free agency market is quite thin, with limited high-caliber pass rushers available. The free agent pool includes names like Tyus Bowser, Emmanuel Ogba, and Yannick Ngaku. Ngaku, who played for the Bears last season, is a particularly intriguing option. The Bears signed Ngaku to a one-year, $10.5 million deal on August 4th of last year. Before suffering a season-ending ankle injury in Week 14, Ngaka started 13 games, recording 22 total tackles, 6 for loss, 4.0 sacks, and 7 quarterback hits. Ngaku, who turned 29 in March, is likely to command less than $10 million this season due to his recent injury. His familiarity with head coach Matt Eberflus' defense could be a significant advantage. Re-signing Ngaku would allow the Bears to avoid the adjustment period typically required with a new player. Ngaku himself has expressed a desire to join a team before training camp to ensure proper preparation for the season. I just hope that I'm somewhere before training camp starts because everyone needs to go through a training camp in order to have the kind of season they want to have, Ngaku said on May 29th. It's just like a boxer at the end of the day. If you don't have a proper training camp, you can go into the ring and get knocked out. So it's all about preparation. Another potential target is the 30-year-old Emmanuel Agba, who was a cap casualty for the Miami Dolphins this offseason. Agba was owed $15 million in 2024, and the Dolphins, facing salary cap constraints, chose not to retain him. Last season, Agba played 25% of Miami's defensive snaps, finishing with 5.5 sacks, 9 QB hits, a forced fumble, and an interception. His experience and ability to contribute in a rotational role make him a viable option for the Bears. One of the most exciting developments for the Bears this offseason is the addition of rookie defensive lineman Austin Booker. Selected in the fifth round, Booker has impressed with his athleticism and strength, showing the potential to become a well-rounded player. Veteran Montez Sweat has expressed his enthusiasm for Booker's potential, highlighting the rookie's promising future. Oh man, I'm excited about him. He's got the whole makeup, from the frame to the pass rush ability. He's gonna be a great player, Sweat said. I've just gotta be that big brother for him. Be there for him when he has a question. Just help him along the way like the vets helped me. The Bears are adopting a patient strategy in their search for an edge rusher. Fowler mentioned that the team is willing to wait for the right opportunity, whether it be a free agent signing or a trade. This patient approach allows the Bears to avoid overpaying and ensures they find a player who fits well with their defensive scheme and team culture. They're sort of waiting to see what develops, see if somebody's at a good bargain. Everywhere else, they feel really good, Fowler added. Balancing immediate needs with long-term goals. The Bears' current roster reflects a balanced approach to immediate performance and long-term development. While the need for a pass rusher is evident, the team's confidence in their existing players and potential newcomers, like Booker, suggests a comprehensive strategy aimed at sustained success. In your analysis, which path should the Bears follow? Hire Yannick Ngaku or Emmanuel Abba? What would be the best option for you? Leave it in the comments. Remember to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. Be another fan of our community and let's strengthen the Bears. Until the next video.